Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video here, we will be talking about how you can enable and install the Beaker P2P browser. So it's a different kind of browser. You can browse the internet and access your websites that you like, but you can also access and host your own stuff. So P2P websites, it's, it's an interesting concept. So to start off, go to the description of this video and open up my article. And uh, in this post, we're not gonna be talking about how to compile the app from scratch. We're gonna be doing the app image instructions just because those instructions are easier to explain over the video. And uh, if you wanna build it from scratch, you can go ahead and do that. But uh, scroll down to the app image instructions and you want to copy this link command here and download it. Now download is fast and uh, I'll let it go. And it should be done soon. Not instantaneous, but it doesn't take a whole lot of time. So once your app image is done, you can go ahead and make your app image folder and paste the app image file in the folder like so and then update the permissions, move into the folder as soon as I enter my password, move into the folder and then start it up with this command like so. And we see we have the Beaker browser. Now when you start it up, you're going to see it's gonna ask you to set for default for dat URLs. Select this button, then click next and it's gonna go over what you can do. So if you wanna make your own peer-to-peer -peer website, you can do that, and we can go ahead and do that now, just for the fun of it. Derek's website. And then I can change this to say whatever I want. And uh, you know, the concept of this video is to, to talk about how to install it, but I'm just having a little fun. And uh, Hmm. Save it, and we can see what it looks like. And my changes are here. And uh, you can also just browse the web, like if you want to just do whatever, it's fine. You can go to the project's GitHub, you can find their Twitter account, and you can use it for your day-to-day -day web browsing. So if you're interested in trying out a new web browser, something a little different than what you're used to, like Firefox or Chrome, I highly recommend it. It's an interesting concept. So I uh, hope this helped you guys figure out how to install it on Linux. If you weren't sure how to install Beaker, check it out. All the information you need is in the post in the description. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.